Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So a couple weeks ago, I put together a video showing you guys the top three best ways to make money in GTA 5 online. And going off the feedback, a bunch of you guys really seemed to enjoy that video as there was at least one method that all of you guys could grind out and stack up a bunch of money in no time. However, truth be told, some of the methods in that video have changed or they've been updated. So I thought I'd go ahead and make somewhat of an updated version to that video, seeing as so many of you guys really did enjoy it. So as always if you guys do enjoy this video or it does help you guys out in any way shape or form and you would like to see me cover more gta 5 money guides in the future all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so coming in for the very first money maker method and that is how to beat this week's brand new time trial it will earn you guys a very nice 100k and it only takes two minutes to complete time trial is located on the right side of the map right next to mount chiliad it's actually called mount gordo so i would definitely suggest doing this time trial with a motorbike now there's three motorbikes that arguably you could do this in the batty 801 fully upgraded is what i use and personally is my favorite motorbike Another bike that everyone else says is the fastest is the Hakuchu. And finally, the third bike you guys can use is called the Akuma. So even if you guys go ahead onto Google and search GTA 5 fastest motorbike, you'll just get led to a load of forums where a load of dudes are arguing between these three motorbikes. You won't get one consistent answer, as there is a few little tricks you can use while driving different motorbikes to increase the speed, which I will explain more about later on in the video. However, once you guys have got your bike, in my case, I'm using the Batty 801. It's a very cheap bike. Like I said, it's worth having at least one good motorbike in your gta 5 online career so go ahead invest in one of these free bikes and head over to the time trial now i would suggest doing this time trial during the day however i go ahead and make things harder for myself just to prove that this challenge is extra easy i both do it in the night time which it's harder to see a load of rocks and trees plus i do it when i have a train coming on face first with me and i still manage to do this time trial straight away so without having a train and doing it in daylight it's even easier so i'm pretty sure 100 percent of you guys won't have any issues doing this so once you guys arrive at a time trial as you can see you want to have only your back wheel in this little semicircle so when you start it you do have a little second advantage keep pulling little mini wheelies to increase your speed and head straight onto the train track as you guys can see you want to pass this first bridge you want to pass the second bridge and then you want to take an immediate right as you boys can see here keep on holding down a to increase your speed or x on the playstation when you take an immediate right go up this little hill you want to find this little dirt path right here do be careful there is tons of little rocks on this little thing which i could barely see like i said during night time and i still managed to do it i've done this again during the daylight which i will show you guys after but you want to keep on just moving left and right in between these rocks holding down a and slightly doing little mini wheelies every two seconds or so now once you guys arrive at this big bush take an immediate left and then bang you guys will see the finish line right in front of you coming in for the second best money making method and that is by grinding out the contact missions which are currently offering you guys double money and double rp now at the start of the week i did put together a video showing you guys martin's top three best missions to grind out to make the most money so i will leave a link to that video down low however i am aware that we're all different ranks and different levels and we've unlocked different missions so what i thought i'd do is quickly break down another mission that isn't from martin that actually pays more than all of martin's missions and if you go ahead and play it in the right way it's extremely easy and if you're able to earn all the bonuses which i'll quickly cover in this video you could easily earn 60k every time doing this mission I'm aware like I said earlier that all of us have a different amount of friends we can get online so in this video I'm going to be fully breaking down how you guys can grind this out solo as well as with friends as well as fully breaking down all of the in-game bonuses just so you guys are fully clued up on what you have to do you can come on straight away today get straight on your grind and stack millions and shortly after I show you guys the solo method I'm going to show you guys how you can actually earn the biggest payout which will net you guys an insane $57,720 dollars and over 5,000 rp so make sure you guys watch to the end if you guys want to find out how you can earn the biggest payout during this double money and rp okay so getting straight into the solo method you guys just want to be in a free roam session you want to go across the online go down to missions go to rockstar created and start the mission called 
diamonds are for Trevor. Now, once you guys find the mission, you simply want to go ahead and start it up. Now, once you guys arrive at this menu, you want to set the difficulty to hard so you get that 1.5 extra cash and RP and buy a body armor as the body armor is on sale. So you guys are saving some money while buying that. And there is a bit of shooting in this video. So going on my personal experience, I've never died to doing this solo method. However, I'm not sure how you guys play GTA 5, what your skill level is. So that's why I'd suggest buying a body armor just to be on the safe side. However, once you guys get in the mission, I'd suggest maybe going to this little um, location in Sandy Shores before you launch the mission, just so you guys spawn here, because it might spawn you guys in your apartment or back in the city, and it could be a big drive. So keep that in mind if you guys are just jumping straight on GTA 5 and you spawn in the city, it's worth getting a helicopter, going over here, and then starting the mission first. Okay, so you guys just basically want to go ahead and do the first part of the mission. Very straightforward, very basic. You just got to drive in through this entrance, take out the front two security guards. There should be about five more enemies on the left and then two more behind the truck so if you guys are comfortable with your shooting if you guys even own a karuma just do what i do just drive straight in there these guys won't literally hit you with one bullet however if you don't have a karuma i will show you guys after you can just get out here and just pick them off one by one however you are saving yourself some time if you do own a karuma i would definitely suggest buying an armored karuma if you guys don't own one currently as i do have a feeling rockstar might like nerf it or take it out in the future as it is such an OP car, especially for contact missions. You guys know I love to bang out contact missions and with a Karuma, it just makes 50% of the missions so much more easier. However, as you guys can see, it took me like about two minutes to take out everyone there. You wanna jump out of the car, simply go ahead and collect the diamonds and then drive straight over to the pier. Now, whilst I drive over to the pier, I did see a few comments asking me what color my Karuma is. This is actually a custom rare crew paint job. So if you guys do wanna get this color on your Karuma or any other car, I will leave a link to that paint job video down below in the description. It's a very easy and straightforward paint job trick. However, once you guys arrive at the pier, you'll notice it asks you to get in a boat. Now here is the very important part. I did play this mission with some randoms after and I noticed I sat back and I saw this is the part where a lot of people seem to die on. However, all you guys wanna do is simply jump in the boat as I do on screen and then jump straight out the boat by doing so you basically trigger the enemies to now come towards you now if you guys just get in the boat and you just drive it straight towards the enemies these guys probably will kill you and they will shoot you on sight as there is two boats that come and a heli so what I'd suggest doing is like I said get in the boat get straight out the boat if you guys have got any launcher minigun RPG noob tube or even an assault rifle or even a sniper as you boys can see the heli is approaching now then simply take this out before you guys start driving the boat trust me it doesn't matter how good of a player you are if you guys don't pull off this tactic then the more like as you guys can see i missed my first shot and the heli already hit me with a few bullets now these boats that come in as backup is completely up to you whether you want to take them out because all you have to do is drive for about 30 seconds forward and then they will stop spawning. As you boys can see, I decided to turn back and take them out. However, I did nearly fail because I did forget because I don't drive boats that often that if you're hitting some speed in a boat and you press Y, your character won't stop. You will literally just jump straight out the boat. So just take your time with this part. I wouldn't even suggest wasting launcher bullets for the boat guys. Just simply pull out an SMG and if you guys have got auto lock on, it would take you literally a Few bullets to kill them very easy very straightforward however as you boys can see once i drive a little bit on no more boats seem to spawn and follow you if you guys do want to get some extra rp then you can just slow up and you literally will be waiting a few minutes for these guys to catch you up they are the dopiest enemies known to man on gta 5 however all you guys have to do is deliver the boat as i said and the mission is completed so as you boys can see on screen now once i deliver the boat and complete the mission i receive an insane forty-four thousand four hundred dollars and over 5,000 RP. Now this is the max payout you guys are going to get solo. Now to get 100% of the payout you guys will have to spend 15 minutes real life time in the mission. Here's a graph that I put together for you guys to break down exactly how much percent of the final cut you get depending on what time you spend in the mission. So as you boys can see there's no point spending no longer than 15 minutes. As soon as you guys hit the 15 minute mark you will receive 100% pay. 6 to 8 minutes you get 60%, 8 to 10 minutes 70% and so on. So hopefully you guys will appreciate me showing you that graph so you guys can come back to this video later on the day tomorrow whenever just in case you guys forget how much you are going to receive for the time that you spend in the mission now shortly after recording the solo method as i explained to you guys in my previous videos the best thing to do for contact missions is either to do it with friends or with a crew however as you boys can see my crew always up for grinding money joined me straight away we got four players and as you guys can see if you do end up filling the lobby out with players this mission actually turns into a walk in the park so as you boys can see
see I jumped out the car and collected the diamonds while there was enemies still around me because like I said if you guys are confident in your shooting ability there's no more than 10 enemies protecting these um, diamonds so like before simply drive down to the pier jump out of the car jump into the boat however you guys should have a friend of you this time so just getting one with a mic so you can guys can just tell him stand in the back with the home in launcher these guys already knew the deal jumped in the boat I hold on had to wait for the last guy <laughs> who nearly landed in the boat with that jump however you guys just want to go ahead and do as I showed before take out the heli and you ain't even got to wait for the boats like I said if there's four of you guys and just drive straight into the boat and you guys should be able to take them out legitly now as I did explain in previous videos by having a full lobby complete the mission you guys are receiving 30% more RP in cash which as you boys will see right now is an insane $57,720 plus 5320 rp now that chart that i showed you guys a few minutes ago that works out the percentages that you guys will receive at the final pay it does apply for this when you guys have a full lobby as well so keep that in mind this is the 15 minutes this is the max payout that you guys can receive right now in gta 5 online however moving straight to the third best money making method and that's by selling street vehicles and i'm actually going to show you guys a trick that will allow you guys to spawn in the most expensive street vehicle you guys can find and that is the dubster 2 gold and chrome editions it's worth mentioning you do want to be in a free run session whilst you're doing this so as you guys can see right here i'm in a free run session with my friend in the background he's the one who's going to register as an mc he invites me to join his biker club as you guys can see i go ahead and accept it now as soon as you guys accept it you want to get your friend who's the mc president to make you his road captain now as you guys can see as soon as he makes you the road captain all you have to do is pull up your interaction menu and you guys can now request the dubster so simply go ahead and do so now once you guys request the dubster you should notice it comes in this very slick looking matte black which does look pretty nice in my opinion however what you guys actually want to do once you're in the dubster is make your way down towards the ls customs at the airport i'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of you guys know where this is already but i will pull it up in a second just to show you guys exactly where it is now once you guys are in the dubster all you guys want to do is drive slowly towards the ls customs you want to make sure that you're never driving too fast when you're trying to spawn this dubster 2 in because you want to give it time to actually spawn in by the game itself very similar to the sand king method or the sentinel excess so as you guys can see right here it didn't spawn in for us that's because the third factor is it's only going to spawn in between the times of nine o'clock and two o'clock and that's two o'clock in the afternoon so otherwise known as 1400 hours so between nine and 1400 hours is when you guys want to take a dubster two down to the ls customs that's the reason why i pulled up my phone very quickly as you guys can see just to double check that i was doing it during the right time now this first method that i'm showing you guys driving from the city or the helipad towards ls customs it does actually work but it doesn't work as good as the new method that i've just found out so as you guys can see right here this is the area that you do want to drive from if you're going to be using this first method like i said this one does still work but it is very tedious and doesn't spawn in every time so it could take a few attempts before you guys actually get your dubster to spawn in so i'm going to fast forward this gameplay to save you guys time as like i said you do have to drive pretty slowly towards it to actually give it time to spawn in but as you guys can see it was my second attempt trying to spawn it in this method and it didn't work for me so i went ahead and used my brain used my initiative and i'm going to show you guys how i actually got it to spawn in straight away so what i actually went ahead and done is i got in the dubster 2 and i took it over to ls customs and i simply parked it right next to the spot where it's meant to spawn in so it's meant to spawn in in this little alleyway just to the left of me so as you guys can see right here i just parked it in front of that garage door now once i parked off my dubstep right there you want to go ahead and rob an npc car now from personal experience when you're robbing an npc car you're always better off trying to rob a four door basic looking car like you can see on screen right now never try and rob an npc for like a flashy sports car type that's just my personal experience from when i've tried to spawn this in i've always had a 100 success rate when i've got these four door coupe style cars now once you guys have got your npc car simply drive the way i'm doing on screen towards the airport and then simply drive back towards ls customs now don't forget whilst you're doing this it must be between the times of nine and two o'clock otherwise known as 900 hours and 1400 hours as you guys can see here i pull up my phone quickly just to show you guys it's 10 o'clock so only an hour into the time gap that we've got 
perfect timing as you guys can see and when i pull up the ls customs remember not to be driving at max speed just drive similar to how i'm doing on screen and as you guys can see bang as easy as that i've spawned in a modded rare chrome dubster 2 as soon as you guys get that bitch take it straight into ls customs and from here you guys want to whack an insurance on it this part is very important as soon as you guys get this car make sure you whack up full coverage over it in case someone comes over to you and blows you up and you're gonna have to do that whole process again because i'm not gonna lie this first part of you guys spawning it in for the first time is the longest part of the whole process once you guys have got yourself one dubster two the rest of the method is a walk in the park and it's also 100 solo which i know a ton of you guys are gonna love but another great thing about this method is not only is it 100 solo that you guys can go ahead and stack some serious cash with you guys can also go ahead and spawn these in for your friends and i'm also going to prove how to do so however there is one more thing that we do have to take care of because right now this would be a good method being able to spawn these in free roam but it's not really unlimited if you can only do it between 9 a.m and 2 p.m however what you guys want to do to get around this is simply press start go across the online select play job rockstar created and you guys want to choose one of three different missions the first mission you guys can choose is called time to get away the second one is called denial of service and the third one is called chopper tail all three of these missions you guys can do and i will prove this to you in this video that i do it also in a different mission however the reason we actually want to go ahead and start one of these missions up is because the clock or the time in these missions is stuck at 12 o'clock it will not go one minute past 12 or one minute under 12 o'clock it is literally stuck at 12 continually for the entire mission which means you guys can spawn in as many dubs to twos as you want whilst playing this mission so firstly i'm going to assume the majority of you guys playing will want to do this with a friend so you can both just continually spawn one in for each other and then after that i'll show you guys how it works it's just as easy doing it solo by yourself so once you guys are in the mission you simply want to get inside the car and go ahead and park it where we parked it in free roam just near the gate just as i do on screen should be fine now once you guys parked up your car simply get out of the car go ahead rob any npc car it doesn't have to be a four-door car i would just suggest it it isn't a flashy sports type car as i've had the worst success with those type of cars now as i promised you guys earlier on in the video you don't have to park up the dubster 2 to spawn these in if it's not working for you for whatever reason you guys can simply just get inside the dubster 2 with your friend as you guys can see on screen and simply just run the route that i was showing you guys that i've done in free roam and it should spawn in just as easily for you or your friend to go ahead and take so this time when I was spawning it in, it's quite important when you're in the mission to not be looking in the area where it's going to spawn. So as you guys can see, I was holding my right analog stick downwards. So it gave me an almost bird's eye view of my dubstar. So there was no way of me looking at LS Customs to show Rockstar Games spawning it in for me. So as you can see here, I'm approaching LS Customs, got the bird's eye view and I'm maintaining a very slow speed. Just giving Rockstar Games plenty of time to spawn it in because like I said, they do flash a few times when rockstar games spawn in a car and they don't want you guys to see this happening because they do want the game to feel realistic and if you just saw a bunch of cars around the map always spawning in at random times how fake would the game feel so there is good reason why rockstar games make you do it this way and like i said if you're going to do it with a friend in the same session make sure he's far away from the area like we've done this time or he's actually in the car with you so at this time that i spawned it in my friend was actually going to check that he had space in his garage to store this dubster in that's the reason why i'm literally just sitting next to this dubster waiting for him to come and collect it now as soon as your friend arrives you want to get him to go ahead get inside the dubster too obviously you guys can't access ls customs like earlier on in free roam so what he wants to do is get in the dubster and take it over to any of his owned garages or apartments so when he now backs out of the mission goes over to his garage he can just go into passive mode take the dubster out of his garage and go and whack an insurance on it and he can now do this by himself 100 solo now it is worth mentioning the odd few times rockstar games will spawn in some other customized vehicles which i'm not gonna lie do look pretty sick especially that rapid gt i might try and recreate that paint job in a future video however the last piece of gameplay i'm going to show you guys now is me doing this as of today 100 solo in a different mission as you guys can see right here i've got my biker clothes on i'm not going to cut any bit of this footage i'm just going to fast forward it to save you guys time just to prove because i know there's a lot of skeptical people out there and i don't blame you guys 
clips because there is a lot of scummy and fake shit that goes on in the gta 5 community so it's only right that you guys do question a lot of the stuff that these guys do put out especially those fucking fake giveaways <laughs> if you guys aren't aware all these gta 5 youtubers who are supposedly doing giveaways if you type in their names or their youtube channel names and then type next to it giveaway exposed there's been like tons of videos of all these guys exposing them for fake giveaways however we're not here to talk about the cancer in the community we're here to show you guys that they're spawning these rare dubs the twos this time as you guys can see right here i'm doing denial of service so it also does work in this mission right here however i do prefer a chopper tail and a time to get away because they don't actually have any timers in the bottom right as you guys can see in this mission right here you do have a 10 minute countdown timer however if you guys go ahead and blow up three of the trucks then that timer will stop as soon as you guys get on the final truck so as you guys can see the first time it didn't spawn in for me because i was going too fast so another trick you guys can try and do is when you're driving slow is come to a full stop on the path closest to it so as you guys can see here i ended up coming to a full stop just giving rockstar games a little bit of time to spawn it in for me drive forward a little bit more and then come to a full stop again just in case they didn't spawn it in now they've got no excuses they're definitely going to spawn it in for me don't forget to try and not look at ls customs as you're driving towards it and then bang you guys should have a fresh new dubster 2 waiting for you parked up all you have to do is hop straight in that and then take it over to any of your closest garages or apartments now another massive tip i'm going to give you guys is there's actually a 10 car garage right behind the ls customs at the airport which should take you guys about 15 to 20 seconds to get from the ls customs to that one but even if you guys don't own that 10 car garage or you don't want to buy it the one at the airport as you guys can see right here there's a ton of other apartments literally within a one mile radius of where you guys spawn this in so all you guys have to do is just keep repeating the process as much as you want and then go ahead and sell one of these cars every 40 minutes or so in free roam whilst you guys are doing some mc work some vehicle warehouse or even just doing some free roam work or even if you guys are grinding out contact missions after every few contact missions when you head back into free roam you can just call up your mechanic and get your dubs to deliver to you and just be making easy money consistently throughout the next few weeks i'm not gonna lie definitely one of my favorite methods to grind out because all you have to do is do work for like half an hour fill up your garage and then you're going to consistently have money coming into your account from literally doing nothing and i'm pretty sure the majority of you guys are already aware but if you guys aren't aware every time you sell one of these cars you're going to be receiving an insane twenty three thousand dollars for every single car it is worth mentioning the gold version does sell for slightly a bit more but like i said you're getting over 23k per vehicle so let's say on average it takes about 20 minutes to half an hour to fill up your 10 car garage you guys will be earning around a quarter of a million per garage every time you do this which is just insane for such an easy and straightforward method that any of you guys can do straight away so don't forget to leave a comment down below find another player to do this with and then once you both have your dubsters you can go ahead and do it 100 solo every single time however moving into the fourth and final method in this video and, and that's by making the most amount of money out of the contact missions now recently i did put together a video showing you guys by far the top three fastest pain missions so i'm not going to go ahead and show you guys three missions in this video instead i'll leave a link to that video down low in the description but instead in this video i'll cover the one mission that i think overall is the best when it comes to how long it takes to do the final payout you get and how easy it is however that's gonna do it for me guys the top three best money making methods that all of you guys should definitely be making the most of as of right now and like i said if you guys do need some other players that play gta 5 online maybe you don't have that many friends that do play the game do be sure definitely to leave a comment down below with your gamer tag or your PSN like I said what region you live in and whether or not you've got a mic as certain players only like to play with other players who have got mics and nonetheless that is going to do it for me guys as always if you guys do enjoy these videos and you would like to see me cover more epic money and RP guides in the future all I ask is you guys do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as I do post Post daily GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!